everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Bryce Bazanson was in action over this holiday weekend back at the Evergreen Speedway in Washington to compete in the Mark Galloway 150 late model event on Saturday, driving for Jefferson Pitts Racing. Bryce started 17th and recovered from an early race spin to finish in 13th place, a highly respectable run for his first 150 lap race ever in a late model. His next race will be June 15th, right back at Evergreen. Joey East raced both his junior late model and pro late model at the Madeira Speedway in California over the weekend. In the pro late model race, he qualified 11th, worked his way up to 5th, but then damage put him in the pits for repairs. He rejoined the field, but unfortunately ended up in a second incident, ending his race. In the junior late model, he qualified third and finished third for yet another podium run. His next race will be at Madeira on June the 29th. Jane Walbridge also ran in the junior late model race at Madeira. His right rear coil over assembly broke on the first lap and he lost 10 laps in the pits repairing, winding up with a 13th place finish. Jaden will be back in action this Saturday at the Bull Ring in Las Vegas. Joe Valento also did the double on the holiday weekend, competing in a pair of Legends car races at two different tracks in the 27 car Lyle Nabenfelt Memorial at Dell's Raceway Park. Joe started in 17th and finished in 17th. Unfortunately, mechanical problems prevented a stronger performance. But by the next day, at the Slinger Super Speedway, they had the problems worked out. He entered the E.H. Wolf Memorial Day Special Village of Slinger 150. He started third, but got spun into the wall on the first lap. He restarted the race and finished in 14th. He had a scheduled Midwest Truck Series race on Monday, but it got rained out. Joe's next race will be June 1st in the Legends car at Elko. Not to be outdone, Grant Thompson also ran two races over the weekend in the Southern Pro-Am Truck Series. His first race was at Five Flags Speedway in Florida, where he started second, ran third until the final lap, and ended up in fourth. It was the first time that he's not had a podium finish at Five Flags all season, but it was still a strong run. Grant's second race of the weekend was the Southern Pro Truck Nationals 50, which took place at Mobile International Speedway in Mobile, Alabama. Determined to put himself back on the podium, he nearly got himself to the top, racing hard to a second place finish in a hotly contested event. His next race will be back at Mobile on June the 1st. And Jesse Love was back in one of his favorite offices over the weekend, that being the seat of his 360 wing sprint car, this time at the Stockton Dirt Track in California. Jesse qualified fifth and started 12th in the main event. He fought stout competition the entire distance on a rough racetrack and finished 10th. His next race will be back in the SRL Southwest Tour Series late model at Madeira on June the 8th. That will wrap it up for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. We hope all of you had a safe and enjoyable Memorial Day weekend. Don't forget to thank our servicemen and women and first responders who lay their lives on the line every day so that we can have the freedom to go racing. Have you missed any of our previous episodes? Well, that's okay. You can see them all by going to raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend, everybody. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.